but being a sensible woman she subdued her terrors and turned over and went to sleep again so it was so on the 29th 29th february at the beginning of the thaw the singular person fell out of infinity to the pink village next day his luggage arrived to the slush and very remarkable was it it was there was a couple of trunks it is such as a traditional man might be but in that addition there was a box of books with fat books of which some were just in incomprehensible handwriting and a dozen or more crates boxes and cases cases containing objects packed in straw as it seemed to hold tugging with a casual curiosity casual curious curiosity at the straw glass bottle the stranger muffled in hat coat gloves and wrapped came out impatiently patiently to meet Reverend Sipes called while Hall was having a work of concepts preparatory to helping bring them in out in out the game not noticing Reverend Sipes dog who was sniffing in a dildent spring at Hall's legs come along with those who was sniffing in a dildent spring in Hall's legs with those boxes he said i have been waiting long enough and he came down the steps towards the tail of the cart as if to lay hands on the small crate no sooner had uh, rensard's dogs caught sight of him however than it began to brisk and grow savagely and when he rushed down the steps he gave the excited undecided hope and then spit straight at his hand who cried all jumping back for he was no hero with dogs and experience sights all lie down and snatch his whip they saw the dog's teeth had slipped the hand made a kick so the dog's executed executed flanking jump and neck get home on the stranger's legs and hear the rip of trolls ring then the funeral in the fierce experience sights whip reached he reached his property and took the field in his trees he retreated under the weeds of wagons it was all the business of swift half minute no one spoke everyone shouted the stranger glanced swiftly at his torn glove and his leg made if he would stop the dog actor then turned and rushed swiftly up the step into the inn they heard him go headlong across the passage and up the uncarpeted stairs to his bed you brought you said fear and sights length of the wagons was with his help in his hand while the dog watched him through the wheel come here said fear and sights you would better hall had stood gaping to speed said hall i would better go and see too and he trotted after the stranger he met mrs hall in the passage gates Dogs, he said bitten he went straight upstairs and stranger's dog being archer he pushed it open and was entering without any, any ceremony being of a naturally sympathetic turn of mind the blind was drawn and robbed by him called a glimpse of most singular thing what seems a handless arm waving towards him and the face of three huge interminate Swat on white, very like the face of pale pansy. Then he was a struck violently in the chest, huddled back, and the door slammed in his face. And no, it was so rapid that it gave him no time to observe one leading to indescribable, indescribable, shapes of blow and a conflagration. There he stood on the dark little landing, wondering what it might be. That he had seen a couple of minutes after he joined the little group of that had formed outside the coach and horses. There was fierce and sight over it over again for the second time. There was Mrs. Hall saying his dog did not have no business to bite her guest. There was her strength, the general dealer from over the road, intruding and said, sending measures from the horse. Judicious, besides women and children, all of them saying, but you would. Uh, few duties would know then bite me i know this man quite have some dogs he might find and for them and so forth 
Mr. Hall's trying at them from the steps and he's been found incredible that he had seen. He handed him a very large paper of this upstairs. Besides, his vocabulary was altogether too limited to express his impressions. He won't want to help he says. He said in answer to his wife's inquiry, we are better to a taking of his luggage. We ought to have his quarter size at once, said Mr. Huster, especially if it is art of all of things.